Hi, I'm Dee, here at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex's Apollo Saturn V Center. Behind me, you see the mission patch for Apollo 13. It's 50 years since that historic mission, known as NASA's successful failure, because although the crew did not make it to a moon landing, they did make it safely back to Earth in spite of a really bad accident on board. You'll notice on the mission patch, the crew's names are not listed. The commander of the mission was Jim Lovell, and his lunar module pilot, Fred Hayes, and command module pilot, Jack Swigert, do not have their names on this patch. Instead, you see the words, Ex Luna Scientia, which is Latin for, out of the moon comes knowledge. We learned a lot based on Apollo 13, and we're going to share some of those lessons with you. To go to the moon, each Apollo mission required several components in the spacecraft. The Saturn V rocket was used to get it off the Earth, but once it was on its way to the moon, basically what we had was the service module, the command module, and the lunar module, which would dock with the command module. Now, Apollo 13 didn't make it to the moon. Just a couple of days after they launched, they were performing some routine maintenance aboard their service module, which provided power, oxygen, and other things that the astronauts needed for their life support. There was an explosion, and they lost a lot of their oxygen. As a result, they had to move into the lunar module and use it as a lifeboat. After that accident, the crew had to take refuge in the Aquarius, the lunar module, which they used as a lifeboat. The problem was that the systems on board the lunar module were not exactly the same as the ones on the command module. One of the lessons that NASA learned from this mission is that we needed to standardize our equipment throughout the spacecraft because when the crew began to run out of fresh air, they found out that the lithium hydroxide canisters for the lunar module were not the same as the ones in the command module. And if they wanted to keep breathing, they had to figure out how to build an adapter that basically would put a square peg into a round hole. If you check out the link on this post, it will take you to the NASA site where there's a transcript of the crew talking to Mission Control to solve that problem. Basically, on the ground, they had to build an adapter using only materials that the crew would have aboard their spacecraft. Then, without the advantage of having a video camera, they had to explain to that crew exactly what to do to build the same adapter. Now, you might not have the same equipment at home that they had on the spacecraft. In fact, you probably don't. But if you have a few common household objects, like an empty box, paper towel tube, an old sock, some gray duct tape, a piece of cardstock, and some scissors, you can follow the instructions that the astronauts followed and build something that looks a little bit like this. This won't really filter the carbon dioxide out of your air, but it looks a lot like the lithium hydroxide filters that the astronauts had to build. Maybe you don't have any of these things or the instructions on the NASA website are a little bit hard, but you and a friend can do this as a social distance activity, whether you're in the same house in different rooms or if you're in completely different houses, as long as you can call each other up either on the phone or the computer. The important thing is, you don't want to use your video camera. Audio only. All you really need are two sets of exactly the same items. In this case, I have Legos. You need to talk to your friend first to make sure that they have the same pieces that you have. And what you're going to do is you're going to use your set of pieces to build something. Once you've got it built, you're then going to give your friend instructions to see if they can build the same thing that you built without seeing it. Once you're finished, then you can take pictures and share the pictures and see just how close you came. We would love to see your creations, whether it's a lithium hydroxide canister, a Lego creation, or something completely different. Take a picture of your finished product and post it in the comments below. This is Dee from Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, reminding you to stay safe, have a great day, and keep looking up.